previously on. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hid your secret weapon in a lavatory? Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Pravardi wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. Uh, what? I thought you would talk to him. Somebody's been running around talking about the hope. Wonder if that's a new drug of some kind. I have the medicine you wanted. Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. Esther tells me you have a tendency towards hypochondria. I don't know what that means. Is that some sort of medical condition? Is my plague getting worse or something? You obviously need this. Sweet life-given nostrum. The first hit's always the best. Scratched together all the bits I had around the domicile. It ain't as much as you deserve, but it's all I got. Mm, let me see. I risked my life to save yours, Albernathy. You're wringing the blood out of me. Here, you can have whatever's in my pockets. See you around. Alright, not bad. I decided to help Abernathy because this town has been complete bullshit, in my opinion. The fact that they withhold medicine from six, pe from six people just because they're sick is pretty pathetic to me. So, at this point, I'm on Abernathy's side because I'm simply stick sticking it to the man at this point. I decided to go to the camp to deliver Reed's message, see if I can try and reason with him. I'm not going directly to the plant because, God forbid, if I cut their power source off, what if they're in dire need of said power, but looks like I found one of the campers. Let's see if she's friendly. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Trouble with marauders? You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around, wondering if Marauders got to her. You could always go looking for her. I go looking for Zoe, I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around the gun. Hence my dilemma. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check a room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You snooped around in her room? Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. 
He seems so personable. Can not imagine how you didn't get along with her? She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. Maybe the Marauders took her away. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why Marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. Any chance you could point me somewhere specific and not just out there? Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Unless Marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. Could do without the gallows humor. Sorry. <laughs> I've got questions about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. Well, let's change the subject. What is it? I'll leave I'll leave you be. Alright, so I can definitely do the quest while I help find the Zoe person back. Let me just go to the journal here. And I know she did mention one of her friends knew her pretty well, so let's talk to one of her buddies and see what type of lead we can get on with. Fancy duds. Do the tubes get in your way? I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the cereals, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. What was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it. But she was gone the next day. Hmm. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Hold on, there was something else. Hey, I got time. Uh, I got more questions about Zoe. I'll help if I can. Okay, so I guess there's none. See you around. So, in that case, the journaling should contain some clues as to where her whereabouts would be. So, let's see. I assume this is her place. Okay, so, Zoe's journal, page 18. Good news, I'm alive. Starting to feel a little better too there's a group of deserters living out in the old botanical labs they found a way to grow some food or something that passes for food anyway adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms i suppose tastes atrocious but i've been feeling better it's nice to be away from the cannery the labs have just enough power to run in either wave so i've been catching up on my serial dramas Masked marketeer, what would I do without you? Go crazy, most likely. Crack up, murder all my neighbors, and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder. I don't know. That doesn't sound too bad. I could see myself leading a parade of marauders, a band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Band of bandits? What would we, what would we call ourselves? The formidable 14? The 100 hooligans? Featuring Zoe. Bennett Queen. Okay, so she definitely has a fantasies about running away. Joining the nomad life. Alright, so this is page 22. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the marauder threat. B 
bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules, I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adelaine's food, and I've got some spare cans of saltuna. She'll ask me a couple weeks if I ra ration. Got some Adrena time, too. Everybody loves Adrena time, even marauders, right? I got odds those marauders were let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Ben and Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzo's. This woman is delusional. Okay, page 12. So that's it then. No more Edgewater for me. No more Kinnery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake, because I've always hated the canary, and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the Val once, didn't I? Just because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much adreno time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own book bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time, and suddenly you're committing larceny. Alright, so she got sick, too, took too much medicine, and was casted out. And now that she's here with the, with the others, she wants true freedom of no worries. Alright, so since I already have an idea on where she is... Parvati, let's head out. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Yeah, I don't know either, but at this point, we're actually pretty close to where this Zoe person may be at, so... I am crossing my fingers that she's alive. Let's see. Oh shit, what is that? Shit! Oh god. This is not good. That bomb definitely gave away our locations. Oh! Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Hold on. Come on, come on. I am not trying to die. I am not trying to die. Shit. This is not good. This is not good at all. Ooh. There is too many of them at this point. Okay, so everything is somewhat under control. Not too bad. I did manage to kill a good number of them. Ooh, not good. That was not pretty at all. All right, so is that is that you? You're alive. Wow, you crossed them all off like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. You're Zo. Your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Uh, listen, you should go back. People are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? You two are friends. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. 
Unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. I need you to clarify something for I'm me. I'm great at clarifying. Why did you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. I'm impressed. How would you put it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Okay. Um, there was something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Mm, I'll be back. Alright, so we managed to get Zoe, so let's head back to the camp. Grace, do I have some good news for you? What is it? I talked Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? She joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't hurt her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. Mm -hmm. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Mm -hmm. well, well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. I'll leave you be. Oh yeah, level 5, not bad, but let me just go to Adelaine. Let me just check on the journal quickly. Yep, let me deliver the message to Adeline. That way, I can actually, if possible, prepare them for any type of changes that are needed to be done. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> You're so cute, you know that. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Reed asked you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. Damn. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? 
Your camp has a power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. We'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Why have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I don't like... I don't much like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side. I'm um, alright. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. What do you have against people trying to make a living? It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation, and then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Wow, this is truly a dilemma indeed. It's just crazy. Something you need? I noticed you mention your dad a lot, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. You mean she's dead? I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That's inhumane. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but Ficker says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicker sees is one ain't never been run. It's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. You're a mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it's in need of fixing. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. Let's get back to it. Alright, so my question is... Should I help Reed? Or should I help Adelaide? I am at a loss for a moment. Oh, that's... He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Really? Do you have, like, a crush on Thomas? Or is it the other way around? Alright, well, let's talk to Thomas then. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Okay, that's not Thomas. Is this Thomas? Yep, this is Thomas. Oh, uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh... Well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you, hi, 
Hi. Damn. Hello. Mm-hmm. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? I, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Uh -huh. Kent thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. You mentioned two pads. What about the third? I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. I'll let you know if I find anything. Would you? I'd be grateful. I want to ask you something. What's on your mind? You say you pretended to be an engineer. How have you been getting away with it? Luck, mostly. Nothing's needed serious repairing yet. Nothing's broken down that we can't just replace with something scavenged from the outskirts. Oh, I can swap out a water filter or charge up a battery and go on pretending I know what I'm doing. But the moment I'm asked to do any real engineering, I'm in trouble. How long have you lived here? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. What were you doing out in the wilderness? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole, and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. I should go. My god, these two are so awkward together. It's cute. Very cute. Hmm. You know something? At this point, obviously I'm going to help Thomas find his three engineering books, but at this point, all the roads lead to the geothermal plant question is what should i really choose thank you for watching this episode this is lover of ladies and i'll see you next week